don't worry, I'm not racist. I treat all races the same. Even the bad ones. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. This time it wasn't that long of a wait, was it? Anyways, we got some, uh, we got some face palm. It's some, some, some pretty visceral cringe today. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. Anyways, gotta get these things, which are probably gonna be phased out in a couple episodes. Michael Jackson. Hey, it's Michael Jackson. I'm messaging you from a private account. I'm not really dead, so uh, can you cash at me like $600 so I can come back to the United States and put out more music? Um, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, right up. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fun fact, blueberries are the only fruit named after a color. Yeah, but like, what about... <laughs> Yeah, but what about star fruit? Oh, so close. That's that's a shape. <laughs> you handled that with so much more grace than I would have. Holy shit. A California city filled its skate park with sand to deter skateboarders. You know, the the whole reason a skate park exists, it's it's in the name. But anyways, then the dirt bike showed up. <laughs> Hey, you wanted them gone! So, in high school I went to a sleepover and the girl I liked climbed into bed with me. And she started tickling me and I was like, Haha, okay, well time for bed. <laughs> I think about that twice every five minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Things that don't require effort. Being on time. Work ethic. Effort. Apparently. Body language. Doing extra. Being prepared. And attitude. Yeah, it's like real cute and all, but there's just one problem there, boss man. All of this requires effort! <sighs> I can't believe Taylor Swift is about to turn 30. She still looks so young. It's strange to think that 90% of her eggs are already gone. 97% by the time she turns 40, so... I hope she thinks about having kids before it's too late. Preferably with me. She'd be a fun mom. Smiley face. Yeah, I, I hope she buys a house near an elementary school so uh, you can't get within five blocks for Jesus fucking Christ. As an employer, why shouldn't I be able to hire teens for free? Like, what the fuck else are they gonna do during the summer months, huh? Me hiring them for free, maybe receiving a stipend from the government for doing so, huh? <laughs> Means that I am keeping teens off the street. Keeps the crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? Means I'm keeping them off the street. Keeps the crime rate down and prevents drug addiction in the future. Fuck this shit. These kids are also getting ex. Experience. I'm fucking educating them out of my pocket. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, I was fined today for not paying my staff a wage, and I am fucking pissed. Damn, I wonder what spurred this <laughs> rant on. Sounds like my old employer. Magic Mike grossed 167 million. If you still think girls like dad bods, <laughs> keep dreaming, pal. Hey, so a bud. Shrek grossed 484 million, just so we're clear, all right? I'm pretty sure the dad bod dream is alive and well. Mark Zuckerberg says meta employees lovingly refer to him as the eye of Sauron. Bud. Bud. <laughs> really? You don't. You're. Uh. Best part is, I check. This is not an Onion article. This is... This is real. 96.9. <laughs> nice. The Eagle, KKGL. Name a fish that does not have the letter A in it. I bet you can't. Now, you see, this is probably posted by a social media manager that might want to be fired because it's very clear they're taking the, oh, well, all engagement is good engagement. So they posted this dumbass thing and forgot about, you know, trout. Cuttlefish, clownfish. I mean, I, I, I could keep going, but I'm gonna go with etc. because I totally didn't run out of fish names. But anyways, the point of these posts is just for you to be dumb enough to engage with it, which I I just did. So what does that say about me? Anyways, we got this goddamn Sigma male down here with dolphin. What a Chad. <laughs> My favorite fish. <laughs> 
I just fucking realized they're wearing a dress in their profile picture. <laughs> I, uh, I still think about this tweet to this day. I just gave a homeless man a hundred dollars because he said he needs to take a train home. I really hope he goes home and doesn't do something else. You. Dumbass! He's homeless! How is he gonna take the train home, huh? Idiot! God! Try me and this is what happens. Laughing emoji, space invader emoji, video game controller emoji. Maybe next time you won't forget to buy my cheese vegan. I told you over and over, I do not want real cheese. I'm a vegan and you will respect that. So I destroyed your $400 console in retaliation for not buying my right cheese. Do you think she ever posts on Facebook wondering why she can't keep a boyfriend? I think she does. What's fucking worse is that actually now that I look at it, there's no insinuation that this is her boyfriend's console. She could have just fucking yeeted like her poor roommate's console because they wanted some craft singles. Like, damn. I just wanted my cheese. R slash you ask man. Man of Reddit, what's the what's the dumbest thing you've uh, you've been rejected for? Hey, so I double knot my shoelaces and the lady I dated didn't like it, so uh I'm not homophobic. I don't hate gays. But I just don't support that lifestyle or their choices. Yeah, but it, it's not a lifestyle and it's, it's not a choice. It's just kind of how you are. Nobody is born lesbian, gay, black, or trans. <laughs> what could the B stand for? What are those damn socialists into now? Oh, it's probably the black people. That's what the B stands for in LGBT. LGBT is a choice that directly contradict co co counteracts God's plan for you. God loves you, and it hurts when you disrespect him like that by being black. <laughs> I, oh. If you think it's a choice, darling, I got news for you. The inconvenient truth of what the B stands for. Uh, my family is sending my 91-year-old, legally blind, great-uncle to Europe alone for a vacation when I just dead-ass watched this man microwave his birthday cards four months ago. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be just fine overseas. Saw a job post the other day, uh, it required four years of experience and fast API. Now, the fun thing is, is I couldn't apply as I only have one and a half years of experience since, uh, you know, I created that thing. Maybe it's uh, time to reevaluate that years of experience equals skill level because it, it, it kind of fucking doesn't. So, um, I got swatted and ordered a new door, but, um, what the fuck, UPS? UPS customer support. I understand how receiving a package in that condition can be upsetting. We can report on our end to have feedback provided. It's message the U the U UPS tracking number. <laughs> nah, nah, fam. Tell me how you bend a fucking door. Nice. Seventy-seven percent of manga authors are women. Yeah, but the manga made by those thirty-three percent of men are far, far better than those seventy-seven percent. Quality over quantity. So, uh. There's a problem there, bud. If you uh, take those two numbers and do a little bit of addition, you can see that you're, you're a you're a f***ing clown. Hmm. No English word has double oo except book, good, and wood. Prove me wrong. Easy. This is proof that preschool education is important to childhood, and that choosing the right books and tools to learn is more important than Nollywood, which is apparently Nigerian Hollywood. Didn't know that, I had to Google it. For now, get a stool and go back to the classroom and learn some coordination. Don't be a hooligan. See, my biggest problem with this is that my guy brought up Nollywood before calling him a doorknob. Like, come on. That was low hanging fruit. And I just realized in the editing process that I fell for the same trap that the, the, the fish clip presented. And so did this guy. Either we got played or maybe this guy really is an idiot. How many US presidents are bilingual? Only Obama. The rest were heterosexual. How about a 
I'm gonna make a rough guess here. Do you do you not know what bilingual means? It means you're attracted to the same gender. God bless. Ugh, no. It means you speak two languages. Ah, yes, the uh, the other B in LGBTQ. You got your uh, your bisexuals, your blacks, and your bilinguals. <laughs> Oh, God. <sighs> no, these are not made. They should never be made. We will not make them, and we will not help you make them. These are dangerous. Holy shit. You will literally start a fucking fire. Why, why are you asking for this, huh? I have to know why this sign had to be put up. I just have to. Congratulations to my brother Jerry and his stepdaughter. They are expecting a beautiful, healthy girl. I love the name Rayphil, and I can't wait to meet my new niece. Then we have the unfortunate bearer of bad news. Yay. Congrats. Thanks, we're so excited. Have you uh, picked out any names? I'm pretty sure we're going to name her Rayphil, pronounced like Rifle. Oh, all I can say before I read this is prepare yourself. Um, if that's even possible for this. <laughs> Did I turn my boyfriend into a vampire? So I got a new boyfriend, yay, and we've been seeing each other for about a month now. Anyway, the other night we were having a Twilight Marathon. I love Twilight, and a dream of mine is to have a vampire boyfriend. I have been experimenting with eating my own blood ever since the Twilight books first came out. <laughs> I consider myself to be a vampire now. I usually just save the blood I lose naturally. I don't like where this is going. I, I know where it's going, but I... Uh, I usually just save the blood I lose naturally each month. I usually just keep the tampons in the freezer, etc. And just suck on them and eat them later. Uh, I decided that I would try and turn my new boyfriend, so I've been cooking my blood into his food every time he comes over. I have tried making blood pudding as well, but that only works when I have a heavy flow. You need a lot of blood. So I usually just add a little bit of blood to the marinade or pasta sauce, etc, etc. He has absolutely no idea. I've been doing this for three to four weeks. Do you think he could be a vampire by now? <laughs> Ah! That big glob I feed you a pasta every time you come over is full of my blood. You're a cannibal, babe. You're a vampire now. Oh, God. I repair electromechanical equipment. I once had a guy tell his son right in front of me, this is why you go to school, so you don't end up like him. And I, uh, told the poor guy that my job requires a degree. He just kind of, like, stood there and stared for a while. I wonder why. A sign of a healthy economy is when you tell a whole generation to sit tight and wait for their parents to die. The times. Millennial? Saving for a house? You might just need an inheritance. Ah, uh, yeah, it's nothing like uh, the American dream trademark. Gotta, gotta wait for your family to die off so you can actually uh, have, have a home. My nephew got vaccinated that came out as gay. This isn't a coincidence. Watch this post get deleted. Uh, hashtag mega, hashtag COVID, hashtag plandemic. Or, or, your nephew realizes you're a fucking psychopath and saw coming out after getting vaccinated was the only way he could be safe and not get kicked out of the household. So, uh, there's that G off. The only thing that could stop a laser is something made up of matter. That is, these lasers, which appear to end exactly at the same distance, are being stopped by something. Evidence that the firmament or dome is real. Basically, he believes there's a giant f***ing glass dome above the earth like the Simpsons movie. But like, bigger. Or a solid dome. Who the f*** even constructed that anyway? God damn it. Hey, Minnie! God, How can I help damn you? It, every time with you. Ugh, look at this bullshit, alright? Oh. oh god, not one of these. Look, this is just lazy on their part. Your conspiracy needs to hold solid ground that can't be disproven using a graphing calculator. Besides, this one's personal. If there's a dome, then how will the satellites communicate with this by drone birds the CIA made? At least my conspiracy is plausible. See? First things first. I'm going to use Desmus to prove this clown wrong. 
starting with a basic asymptotes formula to represent our two lasers, which is essentially just 1 over x squared with some modifications to make viewing easier. As you can see our two lasers start far apart, but as they travel down, they appear to merge, but as you can see, they never actually will. This is because the human eye cannot perceive these extreme distances, and just lazily fills in the gaps. Either that, or he edited the images. Thank you for coming to my TED talk, next I plan to remind all of you how birds are not real. I don't know who's more stupid, people who uh, think the earth is flat or people who refuse to vaccinate their kids and risk their kids health because they believe it causes autism. How stupid was it then, that I vaccinated and it caused problems that killed my daughter, huh? Where on the stupidity scale would you put me? Checkmate. Oh easy, out of 10, you know. Considering your daughter was uh, 34 years old and died of an asthma attack from the asthma that runs in your family, way to, uh, way to use her death for internet clout, Jesus. Hey, welcome to the outro. This, uh, this wasn't the video that was supposed to go up. I made this in five days to see if I could even still do that, which apparently I can, and I'm actually pretty proud of this for what, you know, the timeline was. Anyways, uh, go check out Opossums for Oz on Twitter. That'd be awesome. That goddamn delinquent has done like 469 possums sent to me what an absolute sigma male anyways uh like subscribe do the youtube stuff comment ring the fucking bell and all that jazz and uh i'll see y'all soon